How's everybody doing today? Uh, this is Wayne Barron from Dark Effects TV here to bring you a, another great tutorial. Uh, this one is using Photoshop CS5 and uh, what we're going to teach you today is how to remove an object from an image and uh, basically remove it from its background and then put it in another background. In this case uh, I've got a picture of my son here the day that he got his hair straightened and what I'm going to do is take him out of this picture and put him into a green background so that I can uh, then use it within another project that I will be uh, creating later on today to post on YouTube later on. So um, the image here is a very high quality. The image is a 12 megapixel image. Its uh, ratio is 22, 2250 in width and 4000 in height. This makes it so that you can really zoom in really close to the image and um, so that you can really do some really deep editing. So I really suggest that uh, if you've got a digital camera that you set it at the highest uh, um, megapixels so that you can really get very deep detailed images. And I mean, that's the reason why they make these new cameras is so uh, photographers can take these huge pictures. And besides that, whenever you print them out, they're really huge. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to select the pen tool here. You want to make sure that path is selected up here and that the pen tool is selected right there. Okay, and let's go ahead and get started here. So let's zoom in just a little bit more. So we're going to start right up here in this area right here and then start clicking away. It's really hard to tell where his hair ends and the sun begins coming in through that glass. But we will try to stay decently in line with his hair. Now this is going to take a little while for me to finish this up so uh, I will see you uh, back here once I'm done with the outside outline. We will see you then. And as you can see we have completed uh, the outline around my son here and uh, so what we're going to do now is uh, right click I've already done it and you choose make selection and then after that's done you want to hit control C as you can see the arrow glass has popped up and so we can copy it to the clipboard it does not give you the option if you right click and choose copy and edit you can choose copy but I like doing the control C method myself, it's a lot quicker. Okay, now I choose File, New, and it's automatically going to, it should automatically set itself, uh, preset the clipboard. And so, that's my son's name is Car, so it's already set as clipboard with a width of 1952 and a height of 3708. So click OK. And now you got this green solid background. So the only thing that we got to do now is control V or edit and paste. And there you go. So now we can go in here and do some fine tuning to this image. And in this case, there's some background that we've still got to remove. So with our pen tool still selected, still set on path, pen tool there. We want to remove any section that may have the background in it. And there you go. So then you right click, you make selection. Click OK, edit, cut, and then there you go. You got that section removed, and then there's this area right here. 
Now this one's going to be a little bit harder. So let's get in real close to it. click make selection and then edit and cut let's bring this out make sure there's nothing else got that little bit here but we're not going to worry about that if we try to remove that then we're going to remove a piece of his hair and that's basically how you cut out an image and put it onto a background so as we got here you want to mask the image out with your pen tool and make sure that you uh, try to stay at least decently in line with the outline of your subject and then once you've gotten that you always right click and choose make selection and then file well sorry go back right click make selection and then you choose copy and then you choose file new and make sure that the preset is set to clipboard and then uh, let it create it which this right here is going to pick up what we just did a minute ago which is this piece right here so as you can tell the copy works really great and so that's basically all there is to it and uh, later on today I will be making another tutorial on how to remove a uh, panes of glass from an old building and how to put somebody or a ghost or something spooky inside of the old window and how to make the, uh, the old house look a little bit more haunted than what it actually is. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. This is Wayne Barron again from Dark Effects TV. Have a rockin' weekend.